Welcome to the second part in the Recording a Song with a Budget audio interface and microphone series. In this video, I'm going to be starting my track out and laying down the foundation by recording the bass guitar in. I'm Zane, welcome to Simple Green Tech, and if you didn't check out the first video, you really should, but basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to see if we can create a decent quality song by using a budget audio interface. In this case, it's the Behringer UM2 and a $20 microphone, which is the Behringer XM8500. I'm also only using free plugins for this and the free features available in Traction Waveform Free. So I've got my bass guitar plugged directly into the Behringer UM2. There's no DI box or anything in between. And the bass guitar itself is a budget bass guitar. It's a glary. I think it was like $80. So let's jump into Traction Waveform and get this song started. All right, so I've already determined the tempo of my song, which is 130 BPM. And as you can see, I'm recording into input two, which is the instrument input on the Behringer UM2. I've got it armed for recording and I've got live input monitoring on, so we can hear what I'm playing here. All right, so I'm just going to record this in dry. I'll add an amp sim and other effects in later. So I've got my click track on, and we're ready to roll. So let's hit record. All right, so I've recorded the first part, which is actually going to be my intro, and part of this is going to be used as the chorus as well. So I'm going to record this in sections, and that's because this is a scratch track, and the whole reason is I have the idea for the song, but it's not really finalized the way the track's going to flow, so I may need to add another chorus in there or another section of a verse in there. So I just want to record it in sections, and then I can start to piece it all together and form how the final track's going to look. Let's record the second part in here now. All right, so I've got that verse part recorded in, and then there's going to be one more part in this song, which is like a bridge part. So I'll record that in right now. All right, so I have all of the sections of my song recorded now, and I'll show you what I mean by laying the foundation down and piecing my song together. So what I'm first going to do is just get the intro section put together. That bass actually doesn't sound too bad recorded through this. Let's listen to that just quick here. All right, sorry to interrupt this video. I just want to ask if you're enjoying it and getting some value out of it. Can you please give it a thumbs up? It really helps my channel out and I appreciate it so much. Now, back into the video. So I know I want one of these sections to be my intro. So what I'm going to do is just drag this red cross down here into the markers area, let it go. And then I'm going to call this marker intro. And that's going to go, let's see tell right there that's the intro to my song so now i need a section that's about four times the size of this for the next section of our song so i'll just drag that down there this is going to go to 12 here and that's going to be the next section of my song so i'm just going to shorten this down like that and now we'll start working on the next section all right so the next section goes until right there so i'm going to split this here 
We'll get rid of this part. Now bring down another marker. And the first part of this section is the verse. And then the second part is like a pre-chorus type of part. So I'm just going to rename this to verse. And then I'll actually copy this and rename it to chorus. So now we have our intro, our first chorus. That's what I'm going to put in there. Chorus, our verse, our pre-chorus, and then we're going to go back into the chorus. We can actually just copy this. And what I'm doing there is just holding down control on the computer keyboard and then clicking and dragging and it duplicates the clip. And then I can duplicate these as well by doing the same thing. And I'm going to shorten that part. Then we have the next section, which is our second chorus. Then we're going to go back into the verse and pre-chorus so we can just duplicate this again. Duplicate these. And then we're going to duplicate the chorus. And then this time, coming out of the chorus, we want to go into a bridge. And that's this section right here. All right, so this was actually just the bridge. I sort of had a little fun by continuing on the song over here, and we'll use this part after the bridge anyway, but I just wanted to section this off as bridge. And this really helps me for later on when I'm recording other parts in and working on the rest of my song. Having it all mapped out like this really, really helps you out. It also helps you to finish your song. When you have it mapped from beginning to end and you know where you are in your song at all times your song's pretty much finished you just got to fill it in after that so now what i want is four sections that are the size of my chorus so i'm going to copy that here this and copy it four times This should be long enough. So I'm going to fade the song out. That's how it's going to end in a fade. That's why I want these sections to kind of go on. All right, so I have the song all mapped out. The foundation is done. We've got a bass line in there. It's a scratch bass. We're going to replace that in a bit. So what I might want to do now is just start playing around with bass sounds. So let's just add a bass amp sim to this track. So we kind of get a bass sound that sounds more like what it's going to sound like in the end. So I will just add a plugin. And the reason why this plugin looks so big is that the aspect ratio of my laptop is not full HD. So this plugin looks huge on this screen. All right, so the amp sim that I'm going to use for now anyway is the Lost in 70s Bass Deluxe plugin. And this is a free bass amp sim. I've dialed in a sound that I think I might like for this song. We'll see later on as the mix goes on. I'll probably change some settings, but for now this sounds decent. So let's listen to how it sounds. I've got a little bit of chorus on there because this is sort of an 80s sounding song that I want and they use that chorus there. So that's what I'm gonna use here. Now, if you want to follow along and see more videos in this series, click up here, or you can click down here and see what YouTube recommends. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Simple Green Tech. I'm Zane. Keep creating and we'll talk soon.